All right, I'm recording once again. This is with the other uh, thing. I forgot to turn the camera off, but anyhow, it's working. I cleaned the windshield. Okay, so I filled up the car. It's good. Turn on the air conditioning. It is 70, no, it's 64 degrees outside. This isn't too bad. So, this is a different perspective, it's at f11, but it's with a different monitor, uh, I mean a different uh, lens, this is the G lens. The aperture is an automatic, this is auto mode, let me straighten it up a little bit. So anyhow, Sony a7C, auto mode. Uh, F11, it's uh, 1 200 the shutter speed, ISO is auto, so the camera does all the thinking. I'll go back home, upload uh, two videos, and then you can compare and choose which one you like the best. They're two short videos, and I just may collage both of them, probably not. more videos the better so I want to thank you for my subscribers for subscribing I hope you're liking my content uh, it's not two years old but uh, I'm getting better at it I still make mistakes um, I like driving so I do the car vlogging gets me a video almost up every day um, this is just trying to show off some lens. So I've shown this off before. And I don't know if I compared the Nifty 50 with this 50. Because I've uh, done a lot of Sony uh, videos, okay? But uh, this is the 50 millimeter. You can compare it with the 40 millimeter and 24 millimeter that I uh, was doing yesterday. I'm kind of like the 40 millimeter in between because uh, this is a close up shot. And even if I do like the 50 millimeter, I like wider field of view. But the problem is you get part of the dashboard in the front hood with the 24. I've tried the 28, tried the 35, you still get part of it. But I think the 40 millimeter is the sweet spot. So on an APS-C uh, camera, it'd be 60 millimeter. And it'd be a little bit more on a Canon. But uh, I like the 40 millimeter. And Nikon came out with a 28 millimeter and 40 millimeter, which I love. Now, I'm only bringing the uh, Z7 II. I'm thinking about bringing the Z6 II. But then I'm thinking, well, one camera is good enough. I got the R7, R10 also. But on that, I'm just going to take pictures and maybe some videos uh, on my trip. You know, I'll stop off, use those. I got some... Uh, one to four hundred. Uh, I was thinking of getting like the uh, macro. I think it's a 105 macro or something like that. Um, I don't have a full frame. Um, Canon Canon. Oh, I mean camera. Yeah, see. 
Yeah, no. Stop right here. Yeah. So, yes, it's a little waiting time, but that's okay. I can do it with it. I think it's a little bit short when you make a left and then you... So you have to plan your routes better. I go uh, the I-35 route and then uh, as you see these cars going, I just make a right turn. That way I can avoid a lot of the waiting. Yeah, people working over here, so... I don't know what they're doing. I don't know if they're um, trying to fix up the bridges, whatever, or they're expanding it. So I'm looking at the green light. It's still green. See, this green light is longer. There it goes, yellow. There we go. Dip there, I dip there, we get in the right lane. So the camera's handling pretty good. Still recording. One four hundredth of a shutter speed, F11, ISO's auto. So what I'll do is I'll probably put the 40 millimeter on and just take a few videos on my trip. I don't want it to overheat. You know, like a minute here, a minute there. If I see some uh, pretty sights, I'll keep it on longer, but it'll, I'll bring all the videos together while I'm there in Arizona and show you all the nice pretty sights on my way uh, to Phoenix and then to Mesa. I wish UPS would deliver that box so I can ship my stuff back. I have to wait 15 days for that. That's business days, by the way. So anyhow. There we are. I'm going to open up the um, garage door. There you have it. Park sunglasses off. So, it's 1 60th f3.2. I think we have a winner on the video. So, uh, if you like this type of content, please give me a like, subscribe. Any questions or um, any other comments, just write in the comments below. 
Uh, thank you for watching. And as always, stay safe, keep smiling. Until next time, goodbye.